So, a lot of people probably don't know this about me. At least not people online, or they don't know me very personally. Um, when I was 18 years old, I signed up for the United States Marine Corps. Uh, it had been a dream of mine since I was probably around 11, 12 years old. I'd always been fascinated with the military. Um, I didn't come from a military family or anything like that. Uh, I just my my dad was in the Navy uh, for a short period of time when I was very young. Uh, I don't even really I don't remember him being in the Navy. Um, no other family members really had been in the military. It was just I don't know. I just I really looked up to military, specifically the Marine Corps, uh, once I found out what they were about. And, um, I don't know, it just felt like a calling. It always did. Um, so it was probably the late 90s, you know, when I discovered that. And then obviously, uh, September 11th happened and that, that sparked a lot of people to, to sign up. Um, it wasn't that so much for me. Um, it was the fact that I had always wanted to go. Um, I had actually kind of let go of that dream, I guess. I don't know why. And I was deciding to pursue something else. I was going to go to college. I was going to, um, I don't know. I had a serious girlfriend at the time. Um, and I don't know. I, I had decided, like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't think that's for me. And then uh, I think it was shortly after the September 11th thing. And I, and I just saw so much, you know, this call to arms. I saw this... Uh, so many people stepping up and, and wanting to go serve their country, and um, it just, it reignited that in me. It made me um, remember, you know, how much I'd always wanted to do it, and I, I knew that if I didn't go, that I'd regret it. I'd regret not going. Um, so when I was, like I said, I was 18... Uh, I think I was just out of high school, and I decided to sign up. It turned out that one of my best friends ever had also signed up. Um, him and I, I mean, me and me and my friends when we were young were were very into um, military stuff. We'd go out in the woods and we we'd play war and we'd camp and we'd build forts and we dig tunnel systems and we were just so into this uh you know surviving out in the wilderness type thing um doing like war reenactments and things like that but um like like i said it was just always something i, I longed for and i felt that i was meant for us I, I felt that i was uh supposed to do it i don't know i just had this feeling inside that i was supposed to do that um so i went and i signed up and we did the buddy system my good friend and i were going to go to boot camp together. Although we were different MOS, he was going to go into the military police and I wanted to go infantry. And I was going um, reserves and he was going active duty. However, we'd get to go through boot camp together and that was something we thought was cool. So we, we, uh, we set it up so that we could leave together. And then um, also my cousin jumped in as well and um, he was going to go as well, all at the same time to boot camp, right? Um, Something ended up happening where my cousin actually went uh, three months early, earlier than us. Uh, he had some reason that, that he needed to uh, join sooner. So he joined up, but Sean and I were, were scheduled to leave for boot camp on December 1st of 2003, I believe. And on November 27th, I think it was, I got into a serious car accident. I wasn't driving, I was a passenger, and um, I broke my leg, and they had to insert a um, titanium rod from my knee down to my ankle. It was a long healing process. Um, I was supposed to have it in there for three to six months, and then go back and have the titanium rod removed. It was still my dream to go into the military. This kept me out of boot camp, like I said three days before boot camp and it sucked and it really sucked for my friend because you know we, we had planned to go together and you know this happened to me and uh, uh, you know he was still scheduled to go and he went and 
I stayed home and I healed up. Um, I spent five days in the hospital and um, I got out. I, I The bone healed over the course of three months or whatever it was. I went back in to get the second surgery because I don't know if it's this way now, but at the time they didn't want you to have like foreign things in your body when you went to the military. They didn't like, um, you know, artificial, uh, implants or, um, titanium rods, things like that. And, um, it was actually very hard to get in if you did have something like that. Um, so I was very happy that this rod was able to be taken out later because I know a lot of them are permanent, but, um, went to the hospital a few months later after the bone had healed went into a second surgery to have the, the titanium rod removed from my leg and you know I, I wake up from surgery and I'm thinking like you know for one it was extremely painful all over again it felt just like the first surgery like it, it was that much pain um, and I'm thinking this rod is out and, and I'm, you know now I'm gonna go into the military uh, as planned just a little late uh, it turned out, though, the doctors informed me that they worked very hard, very vigorously, and could not remove the rod from my leg. The, the bone had grafted to the rod so strongly that they couldn't remove it, and um, that it was most likely going to be a permanent fixture in there for the rest of my life. Um, so needless to say, that kept me from going into the Marine Corps. I guess maybe I could have could have signed up a couple years later. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if the rules changed or not, but um, at the time, I think there's waivers you could get. Um, but for whatever reason, I, I didn't end up going. And uh, there's still um, there's still a little bit of regret, even though I mean I don't feel like it was obviously it was my intention to go, and maybe it just wasn't meant to be like I thought it was. But um, that kept me out of the Marine Corps, and. Um, definitely shaped my life in a different direction. That car accident, um, I believe, put me on a completely different path, and especially with um, the fact that another good friend of mine was in a reserve unit out of Columbus, which I would have been in a reserve unit out of Columbus um, around the same time. Like He went to Iraq, and um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Lima Company, but Lima Company got hit really, really hard in Iraq. Like, it's... It was a... I guess famously... Uh, high casualty... military unit. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if that would have been me. I don't know. I, like, I don't know how the numbers work out. I don't know if that would have been me with them or not. Um, but yeah, in 2005, they had a really rough go of it and, and lost a lot of you know, young Marines over in Iraq, and, um, so I don't know, I don't know if, if I was kept from going, I don't know, you know, I don't know if I believe that, I don't know if I believe in that, it wasn't meant to be, or it was meant for me not to go, um, but who knows how it would have turned out had I actually went, um, I don't know, I just know my life was obviously drastically changed, the direction of my life drastically changed, because my, my plan was to go in and, and uh, do 20 or 30 years and retire from the Marine Corps. Um, and I wanted to go infantry, that was something that I always, um, I don't know, like I said, it just felt it felt right, it felt like that's what I was supposed to do, but it turned out that it was not what I was going to do. So yeah, yeah, there's always a little bit of like, a little bit of regret about it. Uh, same time as a little bit of, of, of relief. Um, you know, I don't know. It's mi it's mixed emotions about it. But um, yeah, that's my story. I joined the Marine Corps. I went, and, like I said, I went and I signed up. I went to MEPS. If you know what that is, it's basically where you go and, and make it official and um, do all your testing and get uh, physical and stuff like that checked out by doctors and. You know, it makes it official. You sign your paperwork saying, I'm going, you know, and they set your date to leave for boot camp, and then, um, you know, you're in. You're in at that point. And, um, yeah. Didn't work out that way. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy how, uh, life, your, your life direction can change an instant like that. 
But yeah, I just wanted to just want to tell that story, I guess, because a lot of people probably don't know that. Um, I still have a uh, kind of a soft spot, you know, for Marines. Whenever I hear things about Marines, like I pay attention, you know. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my Marine story. That's me signing up for the Marines, but not actually joining the Marines. All right, that's it. I've got a lot more um, kind of life stories that I want to share, so I probably will. Um, another one that takes place directly after this story that's a uh, that was pretty impactful in my life. So uh, I'll probably share that next. But yeah, that's that's my Marine story. All right, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe for more if you want to hear more life stories, or if you just want to see my reviews on movies or series, or hear me talk about comic books or nerd stuff. Just subscribe for more. See you in the next video.